You keep saying in every interview, the only man I ever really loved was Tommy Lee. I had two beautiful boys with him, so, and it was really a heightened kind of romantic beginning, and that's every girl's fantasy to be worshipped like that, and we worshipped each other, and um, had two beautiful boys, so, and they. But is out, it worship, Pam, or is it is it real love? Is it real romantic love? And have you ever experienced real romantic love? Well, romantic love isn't. I always felt like romantic love might not be sustainable. So, if you want to have that kind of love affair. It's just going to have a season. You know, it's not going to last forever. But that's only my experience. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that have these loving relationships forever. But, um, and I don't think I ever gave myself a chance to have another relationship after that that was of any value. You know, it was more like trying to put a family unit back together, but I wasn't really in love. I just was going through the motions and then realizing I have nothing in common with this person. Like, there's just nothing like... I had with Tommy and nothing that's, you know, it's just more stuff like more, more stuff to kind of bring me down. Like I was putting people in my life to, um, kind of numb some of the pain or be with someone companionship, but nothing, nothing healthy. <laughs> yeah. Would you like, like some of the marriages were quick. <laughs> As you point out, you know, like, Kid, I don't know how long you were married to Kid Rock, but what is it like after you get, like, when do you know, oh my God, this was a tremendous fucking mistake. Do you know right away or did you, did you did? Right when I got did you, married. <laughs> did you, you knew it was a mistake when the, when the ceremony was going on, in other words. Well, just after. Obviously, just after. Not in time. <laughs> how does that work, Pam? Explain That's it to terrible. me. That's like, terrible. I know it's embarrassing. It's just the. Flaw. Is it embarrassing? I don't know. I mean, it's like I just feel like I like I just jump into something because you know Tommy and I did, and it was we had this you know incredible connection. But then you jump into something, and it's like, oh, it's not this incredible connection. It's this, just something else. And then what do know, you do, Pam? Pam, what do you then do I slowly when you realize try and find it? my way out? Do you make yourself unavailable? You don't no, want to be mean. I think I try, but I think I detach a little bit, and I think that's what's kind of made people a little crazy and any sign of, you know, violence or kind of a disrespect or lying is my excuse to leave, you know? And I, and that's, it's always kind of comes down to that. Like someone's breaking things or screaming or something like that. I just, I can't take that kind of violence. And I would get out of it, run for the hills. Right. This last year I've been alone and it's been in a really incredible year. For me, you know, just kind of going through, looking back and reflecting on everything and, and um, you know, so it's, it's been good. I mean, like you have to be able to be alone too before you can yeah. be with somebody else. So I feel like I'm just kind of growing up right now. It's taken a long time. 